Welcome to this week's episode of The Road to Indy, presented by Southern Seminary and Boyce College. Scooter Kellum joins us this week to share some of his favorites from around Indianapolis. Scooter heads up the Church and Leader Mobilization Department for the Indiana Baptist. But hey, Scooter, you're a, you're a transplant originally from Alabama. You hadn't been in Indy long. That's right. I've only been here for about 18 months, but uh, so I haven't been around a whole lot. I had to ask some people, hey, what are the key things and places that we need to do and eat? So uh, hopefully I got some good recommendations for the day. Yeah, to crowdsource this thing this week. And, uh, you know, we, it kind of felt like we did that last year in New Orleans because everybody had things to share whenever we talked to New Orleans. And I'm sure it'll be like that whenever we get to uh, to Indy and we start talking about that and, and, you know, with other folks from the area. So what's that transmission been like to, to coming up to Indiana? Well, you know, uh, I heard a lot of people from Alabama tell me, hey, it's Alabama of the North. And, uh, oh. and, and is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> well, you know, I, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, good. Uh, but but we do have four seasons, so it gets really cold. Uh, but also the summers, uh, and, and this will be important for us this, this summer, is that it stays light a whole lot uh, longer a- into the day. So those those have been some things. But but it has been uh, really good going from 3,200 Southern Baptist churches uh, to 420. That has been a big uh, transition. Uh, but it's been fun getting to, to know that you get to serve those many, ch- that little bit of churches really invest in them, where 32 can yeah. be daunting as far as size of church. Yeah. yeah. So let's start with things to do for families. We'll start in downtown and like literally just steps from the convention center is the the zoo there in Indianapolis. The Indianapolis Zoo, it is a lot of fun and and it'll be a great place to to go and to take your family and go go obviously see uh, lots of animals with with good things to do. But um, I would also say just uh, downtown is the Indianapolis uh, Children's Museum or Children's Museum of Indianapolis, which is rated number one in the U.S. And so it is a lot of fun. Um, I know that that one I do know personally because uh, my, I take my kids and my family and we go there quite often and it is a lot of fun and it's right there downtown as well. Yeah, so everything, I mean, like we've talked about this on the show, everything's in walking distance, it seems, in downtown. Like it's, it's just right there. I mean, and also you've got the Indians uh, who are going to be in town, I think, right before the convention. I That's think they right. go out of town on like the Monday or something, but they're there. Uh, the weekend leading up to. So if you're coming in early, maybe doing crossover, things like that, you can catch an Indians game. Yeah. And, and and I have been to a, to a game uh, of the Indians, and it's a lot of fun to go and really good family atmosphere. Um, had, we had lots of fun, and, and I've got six kids, so we had babies and uh, everything. And so it was just a really good environment to go and be a part of that as well. Yeah. Um, speaking of baseball and sports, um, NCAA – uh, Hall of Champions and Museum is yeah. there. Um, and so that's a, a really good opportunity to go and just check that out and look at all the different things. Uh, you can see from Alabama, you can see all the championships that they've won and all the things, you know. Um, all the ones they claim, right? But, well, yeah, I think they do more than claim them, unlike some maybe some uh, of the other schools. Uh, but uh, but no, so that's all. Shots fired toward Orlando right there, I guess. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but there's actually several museums down there, downtown. So you can actually go yeah. and, and just have a lot of, of day of learning and, and having lots of fun. So uh, downtown yeah. is very rich in, in history and tradition and just uh, and culture as a whole. Yeah. I mean, and, and even like free things like just walking down the canal, you've got, you know, it's a great little like river walk type atmosphere down there. Great walking spaces, green spaces, that kind of stuff, and and who knows? I mean, you've got the uh, the amphitheater there as well. There may be a concert. I'm not sure what the schedule's like there. I've been in town where they've had some concerts at the amphitheater right there as well. So got that. And we can't talk about things to do in Indianapolis without talking about the Brickyard. That's right. Uh, which is interesting because uh, I always thought about Brickyard as well. Like I, I think about the Brickyard and with uh, I remember kissing the bricks when, when you win the race and all that. But yeah. here and that's from me being from the south. So coming up here, one of the things that has been different is they are indie car fans. And so, oh, yeah, uh, I know. I know why. But it's just like, man, this is different. I'm thinking Brickyard. You are thinking Indy cars, Indy 500. And so uh, racing is definitely big here. And uh, and you can actually go and tour the speedway and so that that's a lot of fun Uh, yeah so you got the speedway over there and it's just on the west side of town 
Um, not too far from downtown, actually. No, that's um, right, right. 15 minutes. That's yeah. right. Yeah, so about 15 minutes down away from downtown. You want to get out and check out um, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway over there, see the pagoda, get your pictures with that, with the Yard of Bricks. So uh, really cool opportunities there. But all right, so that that's anything else to add on the things to do? Well, you know, you've got your typical things like top golf is in, in the area in, in in Fishers. You've got some axe throwing opportunities. There's something that I've gotten to do last last year that was a lot of fun that you might want to consider if you're bringing a group of people is they have what's called in Fishers uh, area a uh, game show battle rooms. I don't know if you've been in any of those. What? You go and you play different like what you would think about TV show games and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like Wheel and, of Fortune, Jeopardy type thing. All of those things, yes. Family Feud, all of those things, and so uh -huh. they're on each side. And and I'll tell you, uh, we went with uh, nine couples for one of our friends' birthdays, and we had the best time. Um, that sounds amazing. And so just just something to think about uh, as far as looking at something a little different uh, to go and do that. And you said that's in Fishers and uh, uh, North Fishers side of town. Carmel area. Yeah, the Carmel area up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So yeah, north side of town. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do up in up in that area. So um, we will put a link to the website. Uh, the The Convention and Visitors Bureau has been good about uh, you know getting us in uh, you know kind of a web page, so to speak. Okay. With a lot of the information, so we'll put a link in the the uh, the show notes for that. So that's things to do. Now let's talk about the important things. Things to eat. Yes, I love to. So eat. we we and we we have. <laughs> I, I'm right there with you. We've got to start with the most famous shrimp cocktail in the country, at St. Elmo's. Okay, well, you said shrimp cocktail. That's interesting. Yeah. See, I I think about the steakhouse part of that portion of that. Well, there's that too, but you know, <laughs> but that's awesome. Uh, I love shrimp cocktail and and steak, but I haven't ever been to St. Elmo's, so. Uh, maybe I should have worked out harder and become one of Peyton Manning's uh, offensive yeah. linemen, and then I could yeah. have eaten there every home game. Um, yeah. So. so it's a high-end steakhouse there, right in downtown. But you can go to like Harry and Izzy's and have a similar experience with half the price, if if not less. Um, absolutely. A lot cheaper, uh, a lot more accessible to, to the budget. Um, uh, but the the the. St. Elmo's cocktail, shrimp cocktail is like world famous. So okay. uh, it's something that, you know, kind of put on your bucket list, folks, uh, and try that. And uh, it is not for the um, for the faint of heart either. Uh, well, it's just the, one on my bucket list, is real. so thanks. Okay. If All anyone right. wants to take me, you know, when they're here in our state, I will be happy to go with them. <laughs> um, we'll have to make that happen. We'll have to make that happen. <laughs> so, All right, um, where else, man? Well, there's an Italian restaurant uh, just to the west side of town, north, north, west side of town called uh, Mama Corolla's that I've okay. heard everybody rave about. I mean, I, I've not heard anybody who heard about Mama Corolla's that, that didn't just go, ooh, that's a place you got to go. Uh, that's really good. There's a, a southern uh, kitchen style deal with fried chicken uh, called The Eagle uh, off of okay. Mass Ave. And it, I've seen that. We're, we're going to try to hit that on one of our trips up. It's like specializes in fried chicken. Yes, and so, it looking forward to is that is phenomenal. I've actually had that one myself. Uh, our executive director, Dr. Struther, uh, he took me, and it was fantastic. And so, I would highly recommend it. Uh, an interesting Rude Burger is a is a place that this yeah. is really it's got a good solid burger, different kinds. But I'll tell you, my favorite burger in the in the city that I've had uh, is called Bub's Burger. Hmm. Uh, they. They talk, that doesn't sound very appetizing. A it doesn't, burger. but it's just want to throw that like, out. There. Um, let's say a, a challenge to really eat a big burger. Uh, oh, wow. A one pound challenge of a burger, and you can put your uh, name. I mean, you get your picture up on the wall and all the stuff. But what they do is they have a 22 ounce burger that when it's cooked down, it's a, it's a pound. So um, cooked down to a pound. It's cooked down to a pound. That's, that's a lot of meat. But it actually tastes really good, uh, which is which okay. is kind of. Uh, they also have elk there. They have you can get an elk burger, uh, but the best thing about it is that they have sweet potato fries that you can, and then they have a marshmallow dip sauce. Ooh. And I'll just go. tell you, it is, it's good. My wife would be all over that. She loves that. I mean, like sweet potato fries with a, a marshmallow cream dipping sauce. She'd be all over that. 
So that that that's kind of the 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 place that I love to go. There's also uh, in the Bottle Works area. There's a uh, mm-hmm. a garage uh, that's got like several different things to eat. Um, and so kind of a food uh, hall type thing. Do it now. Like a food hall. Type yeah, place. that's right. That's right. And so yeah. uh, it's 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 good. You can go and pick what you want and and, and choose those things. Um, and so there's just, there's so many restaurants downtown that you could choose from. You could just pick and choose what you want to go to. You've got your chains, but you've also got a lot of those local spots that are just yeah. so good. Um, yeah. if you like sushi, um, there is called the sushi club and they have like oh. an all you can eat sushi of fresh sushi. Uh, you're going to pay for it, like, but, but it's one of those special events. And I mean, Southern Baptist Convention annual meeting is a special event. So <laughs> Oh, eat and enjoy Absolutely. the sushi club. So, um, yeah. and then uh, the sushi club. The sushi club. It's All really right. good. Um, so, uh, my favorite coffee shop is in okay. the city as well. It's called Java House, uh, where most coffee shops are built around a drip coffee. Um, Java House is built on cold brew coffee, and so it's oh. not. So even their warm coffee is cold brewed and then warmed up. So. Uh, there's, um, yeah, I, interesting. I don't drink it. That's warm. Inter- I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I don't drink it warm, but I really like their nitro cold brew. Um, yeah. and, uh, well, I mean, coming in the coming in June, it wouldn't be bad to have a, a cold brew, right? I, I mean, that's right. That's not right. the worst time of year. Absolutely. To have cold coffee. Exactly. Absolutely. So, uh, those are kind of the, the, that, that's my coffee shop that I, that I like uh, the most. And then, uh, those are kind of the restaurants that I've got. I've got. There's a list that I, I would assume that we could, yeah, put up and yeah, we'll put online, online as well. And so, uh, but yeah, um, lots of. All right, one thing we haven't, one thing we haven't talked about, Indiana staple. Yes. The pork tenderloin sandwich. Yes. Where where the the like the 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 meat is like this big, and then you have this little bun, and it looks like the proportions are not quite there, but it's delicious. It is delicious. Um, I, I'm a, like I told y'all with the with the hamburger. I'm I'm a fan of like a food challenge, and so I thought I could do it. Uh, but it's big. It's a it's a one pound pork tenderloin. Uh, right. Where's this at? Um, well, the the most famous one is, is at the Edinburgh Cafe down in Edinburgh. It's it's about fifty minutes south of Indy. So if you're on your way up sixty five, hit Edinburgh. Uh, and, and you can do that, but they, but you can get them just about any of those locations in the area. Yeah. Uh, I got my first one in Monrovia, which is just outside where our office is. Um, they have a really good one there, and uh, not all of them are going to be big. Most of them, they'll let you get one a little smaller too. Um, but you can pick them up at, at most of your little uh, mom and pop restaurants, or or really any of your restaurants will have those. To yeah. get. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, that sounds good. Well, Scooter, anything else to add? We're excited about having everybody in our city and, uh, and it's going to be a good time and uh, you'll get to come have some fun and eat really well while you're here. So bring your families, yep. come on and let them yes. experience what it means to be a part of the SBC family. Yeah, absolutely. And you can do the, you can register your, your family, register your kids for childcare, everything, sbcannualmeeting.net. Do want to thank our sponsors once again, Southern Seminary and Boyce College. If you're heading up uh, to the road to Indy, be sure to stop off there in Louisville and visit the Southern Seminary campus. You can uh, take a detour there and uh, and really get a a good view of the campus. You can find out all you need to know about that at sbts.edu slash roadtrip to check out the road trip there at Southern Seminary. Thanks again for joining us this week on the road to Indy Scooter. We appreciate you being here. We appreciate you watching at home. Be sure to join us next week right here on the road to Indy presented by Southern Seminary and Boys College.